Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God, our Father, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Streaming forth from the gates of hell is Satan and all of his demonic minions. They issue forth from their stronghold to do war against the Lord, his Christ, and against the church. They seek to overthrow the Lord's kingdom and to bring eternal death to all of God's people. It's a war that's been waged since nearly the beginning. Adam and Eve succumbed to the devil's attacks and they ate of rebellion. They ate of death. You may not see these screaming hordes of Satan issuing forth from the gates of Hades, but they most assuredly see you. You are a target for the demons. They seek to keep you in death. They seek to bring to you temptations to cause you to sin and rebel. They seek your death. They seek to accuse, to cause you to find guilt in yourself to grab onto your wrist and to drag you down into the depths of the fire as a part of the church you are under attack from all that comes forth from the gates of hell and so often it works you despise God and his word you seek comfort and consolation in yourself in more sin or in more rebellion. But you have a rock. And this isn't Charlie Brown looking into his candy bag on Halloween. I got a rock. <laughs> you got something more than that. This rock is your defense. This rock is your protection. This rock is what you so desperately need. Jesus says to Peter, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And so your answer to the legions of hell is the rock of Peter, his confession of faith. Peter had just said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. It's a confession of faith. Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. He is the one who is the very son of God who has come into this world to bring salvation, peace, restoration, protection. And all who confess this truth, the truth that Peter confessed, that Jesus is the Christ, is a part of this church of Christ. And so you have been called out to be one of the Lord's children, to be one of his disciples. So your rock is Jesus Christ. But not just Jesus. It's also what the Christ has come to do. Jesus came to defeat Satan, his hordes, and to defeat death itself by his bloody death on the cross and then his resurrection from the grave the cords of death are broken the rock has felled the giant for this rock has come not to sit as a monument next to the information table this rock came to do something to die for you to rise from the grave for you. And now you turn to what the disciples were told to do in this kingdom for the church. Jesus said to them, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Peter, the disciples, your pastor, are charged to come to your defense when Satan comes with all of his temptations and all of his accusations. Your pastor comes to you with words of absolution. 
And that's just what he does. He speaks a truth into your ears that the lies of Satan have no power against. In the stead, and by the command of Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The door of heaven is open to you. By the forgiveness of your sins, eternal life is yours. Christ's salvation is yours. Turn to the rock of Christ. Hear that rock come to you in the words that your pastor speaks. Listen as the gates of hell fall screaming back to their depths every time you hear those beautiful words that Christ has charged your pastor to deliver to you. In the stead, and by the command of Christ, I forgive you all your sins. Amen. Now the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus until life everlasting. Amen.